Welcome to Crimson Guitars and welcome to a guitar building tutorial. One of the things that everybody, I am constantly asked, is how the hell do you sort out the neck break angle uh, when you're building anything? Because most guitars require that your neck is angled back to account for the strings, the string height and the bridge, etc. And uh, I must admit, I stole this particular trick from one of my luthiers, Tom, so he should probably be doing the video, but uh, he doesn't wanna. So, uh, so here we are. And essentially, this is a very, very easy trick that allows you to, uh, to get the, the correct break angle uh, planed into, or at least, you don't have to use a plane, there are other methods, but I will say planed into, because that's what I'm going to show you. This is an easy way to, to, to put that correct angle into your guitar body. And it is using a bit of wood and a hand plane. Or, if you happen to have it, a giant uh, Triton <laughs> power plane. So I'll show you that one as well, just for fun. What we have is, on, on guitars with tunematics or, well, most instruments, tu the string height above the body for example, on this is going to be about 17 millimeters. And you have to angle your neck. If it's perfectly flat, then your, your strings end up three or four millimeters above the body. Generally, so for example, with a Les Paul, you're talking about a two and a half mil or a two and a half degree or a three degree back angle. And uh, when you want to work out what that should be, it, the best way is to, uh, to actually draw full-scale plans, draw where your strings are, draw your bridge in and your top. However, there is another way. Our bridge, if it's a standard tunematic, is say 17 mil high. If you've got a couple of mil adjustment, which you should always have, that then makes it 19 millimeters. Now what you need to do is take a little piece of wood, Plane it down until it is that 19 millimeters minus the height of, whoops, <laughs> minus the height of the fretboard, including frets. So it, 19 millimeters minus, say, 8 mil. So we want an 11 millimeter piece of wood in this case. Now, using the fantastic masking tape trick, I am going to stick this down where the bridge needs to sit. Okay. Now, if you haven't seen our masking tape trick yet, go and watch the video. It is fantastically, fantastically useful. Burnish it down. In this case, I'm not after massive holding power. Uh, with this trick, you can actually, you can actually hold things onto CNC machines if you like. And, uh, and it's most incredibly useful. Now, a little strip of super glue just in there. We don't want it to go onto the wood at all. A shot of accelerator on there. And basically, we've done away with the need for double-sided tape, which always leaves a residue and is an absolute nightmare to remove. And I've got a bit of wood where my bridge is gonna be that will not move. Okay, the guitar is in. Uh, the, the, the dogs so that I can't move and I am going to start planing down. In this case I've already, this top is actually CNC, the outline is CNC'd. And uh, we already have our pickup cavities and our neck break, or our neck pocket routed. Uh, this would be easier to do before then if you're making a task by hand. And this is uh, coming along quite nicely now. So we have a, a break angle. And as we go down, 
at this point, the angle changes, obviously, but we will end up with something that will work. And you don't have to do any maths, which is uh, all right in my book. Being careful of the binding, I don't want to uh, rip it out. Uh, but we're roughly, roughly there now. Now, what I would say every single time, measure, measure, cut, without a shadow of a doubt. Here's a fretboard. And it's in slightly the wrong place, but uh, we'll, we'll go with that. Now, at this level, and being further forward, my strings line up. I have a few more, uh, a few more mill to uh, to cut, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm uh, I'm really happy. I'm going to finish this off, and uh, then we'll come back. I've hit the binding here and at the end, and uh, we're good to go. Now, there's a fretboard. I have a couple of mil. I would always, and that's without frets, so basically this is a little bit high still. Get another plane out. take a little bit of material off here and I'm changing the angle and doing that my long plane is going to be cutting here rather than along the whole length. Changes the angle a little bit and uh, we have some adjustment room. The end result Now, the beauty of the uh, masking tape trick you can just pull it off with the right uh, type of pressure. I have several mil to play with, and uh, I think I'm actually going to take a little bit more off still, off in this central piece. You don't need to watch that though. And there we have it. It's a very, very easy, quick, straightforward uh, way of uh, getting a brake angle. Aha! I asked them to send up this. <laughs> if you are, if you want to do this a little bit quicker, this is a <laughs> mental, mental plane, magnesium bodied, seven inch blades, and uh, yeah, that is a power tool, and uh, it sounds like an air raid siren, and this is what uh, Tom actually uses, at least for the roughing out part of, um, of this job when he's doing it without binding. And uh, then he'll move on to a long hand plane. <clears throat> and quite frankly, you can't beat a long hand plane, can you? Now, so yeah, check out the Triton. Check out the Triton, it's awesome. If you have a way that you do this that is different uh, from ours, please let us know. There are router sleds. I've, I've done this before on a, a router sled where I basically raise up part of the guitar on a pencil uh, and then run a router that's on a sled system over it. And that's fairly, uh, fairly effective. There are, there are different methods and uh, at Crimson Guitars we are constantly learning and uh, I want to see what you do because it might be better. Uh, if you've liked this video, please click like, click subscribe and check out everything else we do because uh, 
we're putting out a lot of videos these days. And uh, this guitar, this is a prototype for our new uh, PAF hollow production instrument. And uh, yes, this is going to be coming out fairly soon. Thank you for watching. And uh, I will look forward to seeing your comments below. Goodbye. Back to planing.